Welcome back, everybody. It's Friday, so it's another Mail Day, Mail Day, Mail Day episode where we open everything we've received over the course of a busy week of mail, including some friend mail. Let's get to that right off the bat. We've got three pieces of friend mail from fellow YouTubers and or subscribers and longtime followers of the channel. Let's get right to it. The first one's coming from Julie out in New Mexico, out in the West Texas town of El Paso. Julie is a great friend of the channel, watches every video, emails, comments, happy holidays. Whoa, chock full of cards here. Hope Santa brings you everything on your list this Christmas. A little note here. Hey, Michael, wishing you and your family a Merry Christmas. Great New Year. Hoping you can use these hockey, hockey cards for TTM. Sending you the Dick Bass card to add to your Dick card collection. Sending the McCutcheon card just to see if Math Bowler is paying attention. LOL. Signed, Julie. And there's Hannes Wagner statue at PNC Park. They moved that over from Three Rivers and even from Forbes Field where it was originally. So that's pretty cool. Hannes Wagner, the greatest shortstop of all time. And there's a McCutcheon card. Math Bowler, are you paying attention? Julie wants to know. And that goes to my Dick collection. If you remember, I bought a collection of um, slabbed cards from a person named Dick, and he collected all sorts of <laughs> cards with the first name D-I-C-K. These guys all must sign through the mail. I don't know anything about hockey TTMs other than uh, the ones I've gotten recently. Martin Brodeur. Um, Steve Larmer, I think we got. Maybe a couple others, but not many. Uh, Kehoe for the Penguins. Bob Joyce, Bob Bourne. Nice. Thanks, Julie. Appreciate your friendship. Appreciate the cards, of course. Next up, she does not do YouTube videos or I would leave a link. Next up, Autographs 2000. Great Orioles fan, TTM guru. Just went over a thousand subs about a month ago or so. Congratulations to Scott at Autographs 2000. Ho, ho, ho. There's a card tape there. Tis the season to be jolly. Merry Christmas, Scott. Autographs 2000. Merry Christmas, my friend. And there's a signed Roger Craig card. Pretty sweet. Thank you for that. I'll leave a link to Autographs 2000. You're probably already subbed there, but if you're not, check him out. He's doing TTM videos at least twice a week, sometimes four and five times a week. Just depends on whatever he gets a TTM. He fires up the camera and puts it on film. Next up, Donald Bloomdahl from Hall of Fame Vets, Sports Cards, and more. Mr. Bloomdahl has a channel, very uh, active while ago. Does lives once a week, does history of baseball cards. He'll pick out like 1974 top set, go into the history of it, show examples of it. Does auctions, does features on Hall of Fame players, mail call. Michael, best wishes for the holidays, happiness throughout the new year. Don Bloomdahl, HOF on YouTube. I'll leave a link down to Don's channel as well. Check him out. Give him a sub or a bus, as he likes to say. Um, check him out. Leave a link to Autographs 2000. I'll leave a link to Don Bloomdahl's channel. Thank you, one and all, for the Christmas cards and the Christmas cards. Thank you very much. Next, first up is an eBay purchase. I think all of these are eBay purchases this week. Going to see some massive amounts of TTM fuel, we hope. Uh, I got this card. Maybe a couple times you'll see this. Hopefully, anyway. And we have a huge stack scheduled to come in tomorrow, so we'll have to wait for that one next Friday's Mail Day video. That's chock full, even more TTM fuel. I got some pancakes with this one. There she blows. 1969. Oh, we can't get that off very easily. 69 Dell Unser rookie card, rookie cup card, and his rookie card. 
We've never sent that card to Mr. Unser, and he is a great signer. You need to take advantage of that. And you may see that card again in this video. That was $1.88 delivered. $1.88 delivered. And this is another single card. They just ripped the, ripped the top off there. It's hard to tell how that one is taped up pretty well. And as is this. Milk Plum. Oh, Cleveland Browns quarterback. Los Angeles Rams quarterback. That's his 1960 tops. His rookie is 58, I believe. We've gotten that signed by Mr. Plum before. He's a very quick return. Lives in the Charlotte area. I've got a beeline and mail to the Charlotte area. And I think I got him back in like six days last time. Pretty underrated quarterback in the annals of pro football. Went to Penn State prior to his NFL career. All right, we'll have to take care of this envelope. This should be another single card. Never sent to this gentleman before. We've seen him returned on several other channels over the years. He's getting pretty consistent now um, with a donation to his foundation or to his charity. It is none other than Dirk Nowitzki, the soon-to-be Hall of Fame NBA star for 17, 18 years, a long time, from G Warsburg, Germany. Did not attend college. Definitely bound for the Hall of Fame. He charges $20, signs one per. So if you send him two cards and $40, you'll get one of them signed and the card back in the mail unsigned. He will keep the $40. So just send one card and $20. I'm getting geared up to do that. Thought I'd get a card now. And then when I'm ready to make that transaction, I'll be ready to go. That's his rookie card, Stadium Club. This one is another single card. We've seen this several times on the channel, including, I think, in last week's video. We got one of these cards. But uh, both of those gentlemen have proven to sign multiples. <laughs> I thought I was done with this double image. For those of you who don't know, and uh, I tend to say this quite a bit, you're probably getting tired of it, but this is a 1960 Tops rookie card of J.C. Martin, that is J.C. Martin right there. That picture is Gary Peters, left-handed pitcher, who also had his rookie card in this 60 top set. Those guys were teammates on the White Sox. On Gary Peters' card, this is J.C. Martin right here, and Gary Peters is over here. Both those gentlemen are in their, their mid-80s. They both sign. J.C. Martin will sign right here. Gary Peters will sign right here. They're both free. Got one of those last week. Got one of those this week. 249 Delivered, two forty nine. If I see that card for two forty nine, I will usually jump on it. Not that I'm looking for it, but if it comes across my screen when I'm looking for other fuel, I'll buy that one. Including same seller, Ford's cards. Ford's cards from Charlotte, North Carolina. That's who I bought that from, and who I bought these two from. Danny Murphy, that's his true rookie card, the 61 tops. His 62 tops is the same photo and has the same rookie star there on the 62 card. So some people get that confused. And Gary Peters, 61 rookie, even though his rookie is the 60 tops. But I needed another card to pair with that when I send it off to Mr. Peters. So that's what I will do. And I've got another card of J.C. Martin, maybe coming today or possibly in that. Next week's lot that I already mentioned. Two more. This is another. This is a Greg Morris. Greg Morris. Greg Morris cards. Buy one, it's four seventy-five shipping. Buy a hundred, it's four seventy-five shipping. So, once you get win one auction, you might as well start looking for other good bargains. And for whatever reason, he typically does not sell, um, his website does not sell autographed cards, but they had a nice run. They do a lot of consignment work, so they must have consigned someone who did a lot of TTM work or in-person work over the course of their lives. 
Best wishes, Frank Thomas, ballpoint pen, 57 tops. That was delivered for $639. $639. Frank Thomas charges $5 per through the mail. And that card will run you at least $5. So that's at least a $10 deal. I got it delivered for $639. Next up, boom, Gene Mock as a player, 57 tops. $15.50 for that one. He's deceased, of course. Borderline Hall of Fame manager. Never won a World Series, I believe, is what's keeping him out. Here's ex former Red Alex Grammis. Played for a long time uh, on the 57 tops. That was 605. Dependable player for the Reds. Then he became a longtime coach for those Cincinnati Reds as well. Even coached with the Pirates for a while. And here he is on the 62 post. Nice signature. He used to sign pretty regularly through the mail before he passed away. And the 52 po 62 post, 425. Or 61 post, I'm sorry. 61 post is for a friend there. And how about that? 67 tops Joe Nuxall, the old left-hander. who Looks to be about 63 years old <laughs> in that photograph. Joe Nuxall was the youngest major leaguer of all time, 16 years old. Then, uh, look at that, 1944, he was 16 years old. Then he spent the next eight years in the minor leagues. I think he may have also been called off to the service. But he was a long-time broadcaster for the Cincinnati Reds and in the Charleston, West Virginia area where I live. I used to listen to the Reds games almost every night. Marty Brenneman, Hall of Fame broadcaster, and Joe Nuxall. Marty and Joe, the old left-hander. They were uh, paired together. Joe Nuxall's passed away now. But that was $9 delivered. And then the coup de grace from this set. Boom. Tony Oliva. <clears throat> we just got him back recently through the mail. He does personalize everything now. Uh, the, six, the 70 tops is a sweet card. No facsimile autograph on there. And no personalization, which I'm a big fan of. That one was $21 for the freshly minted Hall of Famer. So, oh, we got another car, uh, box from Ford's Cards. We're already up to 12 and a half minutes. Maybe I will save this for Wednesday. That's probably what I'll do since it's already running late. It's almost up to 13 minutes. But that's it. Another meal day, meal day, meal day. What did you think? Let me know down below what you think. And Dirk Nowitzki, have you ever sent to him? Dell Unser's rookie card. Milt Plum's rookie card. Gene Mock on the player's card. What do you think? Hey, thanks to Julie for the cards, the hockey cards. Thanks to Autograph 2000. Again, I'll leave a link down below for the Roger Craig card. Go sub to him. Scott will do so many TTM videos. He'll make your collection grow and grow. And then I'll leave a link down to uh, Don Bloomdahl's Hall of Fame Vets and Sports Cards and More page, and you can check him out. Thanks for being with me today, though, and we will see you soon.